Boba Fett? Boba Fett where? Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, please give us a subscribe. We love talking Star Wars amongst other things. And if you like the video, be sure to use the force and force push that like button. We're gonna talk some Star Wars, specifically Mandalorian season three, episode eight. The season finale is coming and one character that has not arrived has been Boba Fett, nor is Fennec Shan, but we're just gonna talk about Boba Fett for now. Fennec Shan, I think they're a duo where one goes, the other follows. So let's get right into it. Boba Fett, of course, appeared somewhat in the first season of Mandalorian. You know, it was like, who is it? Is that Boba Fett? Yeah, whoa, whoa. And then season two, it was confirmed that that was indeed Boba Fett. And then we get the book of Boba Fett where we actually see the events of the first season play out in his show that series was about him saving the city right it was him being the daimyo and he comes out and he is the leader of this of the city and he overturns the government and the the drug lords and blah 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 all that fun stuff and i know that that series wasn't the most beloved i actually really enjoyed it but whatever i whatever so what could he do in the final episode of the mandalorian we've heard teases that boba fett is actually going to appear this season uh we've had mandalorian stunt double or I don't know, body double brendan wayne has said that boba Fett appears when you least expect him to. He went on record as saying that. We haven't seen him yet, so I mean, that's got to leave right to the last episode, right? But how could Boba Fett appear in the final episode of The Mandalorian and why? And what could this suspect? Well, if you, if you go back to Rick Famuyiwa's comments at Celebration about how this is the culmination of Mandalorian the first two seasons as well as the book of Boba Fett it kind of takes you on this path that perhaps coming in unexpectedly is exactly the tease they're looking for right now we have a mythosaur on this planet bo Ten has seen the mythosaur has spoke of the mythosaur she has a patch of a mythosaur Boba Fett also has that patch right now we have two characters with connections to the mythosaur and the first time we ever met Boba Fett was in the animated portion of the holiday special where indeed he was riding a mythosaur so the possibility could be that we learn that he has a newfound meaning and purpose and he brings that he ends it riding the rancor and what if the rancor was foreshadowing him riding the mythosaur at the end of this episode i don't know how you get boba fett to this episode necessarily but at some point grogu or somebody communicates something gets a hold of him and boba fett appears with fennec shand of course and then rides the mythosaur and saves the day the problem with the whole mythosaur aspect of this finale happening is it is very similar to what we sat through on the book of Boba Fett. That being said, it's poetry or rhyme. Again, it's like poetry, so if they rhyme, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. every stanza kind of rhymes with the last one. Right, so this is the path that they take. I have no problem. I mean, I, I think Bo Katan obviously makes the most sense because she's the character we followed all season, but because of what we got in the book of Boba Fett, I still think it makes a lot of sense for Boba Fett to be that one. And what if Boba Fett is the one who actually leads Mandalore and is the leader of Mandalore? He is the original Mandalorian. He's our first Mandalorian, right? I know he's not Mandalorian. Man. Shut up. He's the, he's our first Mandalorian. He was the first, our first exposure to this culture, to the helmet, to the costume, to all of it. Boba Fett is a reason for it all. So if he's the one that leads us the, in that way, I'd be okay with that. I'd also like to see Din do it and Bo-Katan and whatever, whatever. The only other thing is this is all leading to some kind of movie and I don't know how you get from here to there in a few years when we get to that, but time will tell on that. So what do you guys think? Will Boba Fett be the one riding the Mythosaur at the end of season three of The Mandalorian? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And give us a like and subscribe. But until next time, may the force of others be with you. You see the echo of where it all is going to go. 